see if I can grab this. Okay, and a real quick disclaimer, if you watched my farm vlog about a week, week and a half ago, there were a few of these clips in there, a few mini clips, but this project is the whole fabricating project start to finish, so 90 to 95 percent of it you haven't seen yet, but just wanted to let you know in case you're like, hey, I saw this before, so let's get back to the project, thank you. Alright, let's see if the self-leveling loader comes in handy. Hey guys, Capper here, and uh, the reason that I'm bringing this uh, big tank up here next to the workshop is because I'm going to try and fabricate this to fit the iMatch Quick Attach, because this is the biggest pain, and you can ask Miss Capper, because she only unhooked it, but hooking it up is even worse, because the spacing is really tight on it, so... If I could fabricate this for a quick attach, I'll be more likely to use it when I actually need to use it, which I'm already late on spraying again. So that's what my project's gonna be. I don't know if it'll work or not, we'll see. All right, so this right here was a real uh, little mini afternoon nightmare. I did not film anything. I'm all cut up, I've got a little burn that's going on on my arms from grinding so much. Uh, I tried to torch, that didn't work. I tried to welder with some cutting, um, what are them called? Cutting, blah, 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 sticks, cutting rods. And anyways, the sledgehammer is what ended up doing it. So what I had to do here, you see that quick attach arm? Well, these steel plates came all the way out to here. So it wouldn't let that quick attach hook get far enough back into there to hook on the three point arms. So basically I had to notch both of these corners out on each side. So what I ended up doing was I ground them about halfway and then hit, just went at them with the sledgehammer and it was able to break those centers. So now I think I got the lower two parts done, but this upper one is it just might be a nightmare. Um, because of all this heavy steel here, I don't know if, if I'm gonna get something to work or not. Okay, so those two bottom hooks are in right now like they would line up. All right, so now up here, I need to lower that. I mean, I got a couple of holes so I can raise this here, the top hook, but it won't go quite high enough. And then I also may have to reroute these hoses or I could take this top link and weld one right here and then I could have this space right here for the hoses since I got the hydraulic top link that that would work just fine too so there are options to get this fixed so I could actually use it okay so now I have ground off a couple of semi flat spots here and this is why I keep old scrap steel all the time, but I happen to have this old bent piece that's the perfect size for that top link. So I got, my, uh, I got it measured out, the exact width, where hopefully I'll have to pound it in to get it set first, and then start welding it, so we'll see how it goes. 
All right, so there we go. I could put the quick attach on now, but I think I'm going to add some more supports, but I'm going to be done probably for today. I'm probably going to get a couple of steel tabs and put them on the top and tack them into here to give this thing more strength because I can't weld upside down for jack and I can't get into the backside. So at least if I support it from the top, it should be a much better holding all the weight. Actually, it doesn't hold weight. Really, the only purpose of that is to, to hold it this direction. All the weight sits on them bottom two arms, so this just is a hook kind of holding it from going back and forth. So if you have it adjusted properly, that hook is not actually even touching. Um, and what I mean by that is if you have it adjusted properly, that hook is like this. So it holds it this direction but there's no actual weight on it. So it, it holds this whole, whatever you're carrying, it holds it this direction. That's all it really does. All right, this thing is done for three point uh, quick attach. So what I did, I didn't like just the front welds as far as holding up the strength. So what I did was I put a about a two inch piece of rebar on each side. I know it's ugly as all get up, um, but I'm not very good at welding, you know, sideways when it's wanting to always drip. This side looks a little bit better. So now it's tied in in multiple different directions for strength. And then of course I'll keep this pin in there as a backup in case this top one were ever to break. But uh, I'm gonna let this cool down, hit it with some Rust-Oleum and I'm not sure what, when I'm going to use it, but it's going to be soon. So this is going to be another success, I believe. The nightmare of all that is going to be over with. Alright, sprayer is ready to go. Beautiful, beautiful. So now, this pump hooks onto the PTO, but you can park the tractor way out here, so you got room in there. You hook that pump on, because there's, you know four or five foot hose extra and then you should just back in hook it right up and go man nightmares should be eliminated <laughs> 